So hi everybody and welcome back. This is our Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 79 and in this video we will animate our widgets. So in the last video we animated an intro, a trailer and this time I want to animate something 2D and this is a widget and for example um, my main menu. I want for when I start my, my game, let's start it here, let's see what happens. You see these two buttons here, that looks a little bit too static. I want that they fly in, that has, you know, that um, is like an animation, and I think it looks cooler than just uh, what we see here right now. So let's get into it. So how we do this? First of all, we go in the content browser and you find the widget which you want to animate. In my case, I showed it already. It is, it is this widget where the two buttons are there. It's a very simple widget. I created only just a start button, a quit button. Of course, if you have a nice, nice main menu or, or anything nice, which you want show animated, must be not a main menu. It can also a uh, info screen, uh, intro picture, uh, which you can animate. And there are so many possibilities, but let's get into it. This is a very simple example how we can start it. So first of all, we need animations. Where are these animations? So here on top window, you go to animations, click on it. Now we have an animation tab that we will use. So the next thing is this animation tab uh, is similar to the last video we, uh, where we created animations. So I think I don't need to talk too much about this one. I just get into it and I click here on this plus sign animations here. It's just what I want to animate. So I call it animation widget blueprint. And in this case, uh, buttons, button, yeah, buttons. That's, that's enough for me. Then after we have now this animations put uh, animation widget blueprint title, we click on it. And after you clicked on it, you see this uh, uh, field here is available and important is this track. Now you press on the track and now you can see we can um, we can add something here. But careful, I must go back here one shot. First of all, if, uh, before you click this track, click the thing which you want to animate. So because let me show you what happens here. Normally I wanted to start with this button start, but we can't see it. The track has it not. But what you can do now is just select it. It is selected. Now click track and now it uh, it's available here in the track and we select button start in my case. This is the first one which I want to animate this button. So after we have this one, we select this button here and now we can add here special tracks what we want animate on this one i click on plus and here you can read you can trigger here events too you can do here all these other things for example visibilities cool background color changing and so on what i want to do is very simple this uh in this video i just choose again transform because my goal is that this button should fly in so after I click now track transform, I select transform. And now I can open up this transform and I have here the different options. And I'm just interested in one, the location. In this widget blueprint, it is called translation, not location, translation. It's uh, because it's, yeah, it is in widget <laughs> word. <laughs> so, so the translation is the same as location only in 2D. And that's why we have here only X, Y. And I want, I need only this X. Um, and now what I can do is here in the middle where it says zero, zero, I can click on it and I can drag on it. And look what happens when I drag it, the number changes and on top, I can move the button where I want. I want it that it's out of the screen. All right, this is my start position. After I found my start position, I go to this uh, circle in the middle and click on it. This is a key, a keyframe similar to our other. And when you click on it, we have it. Interesting, it is not really showing anyhow here, but it is working, I think. So just click on it and say this will work. So next is now I uh, set my 
uh, time uh, what you think how long it should be in this case i just name it, take the default of course you can change here the time uh, these are five seconds or something like that and of course you can change this here shorter longer depends on that and again if you hold control and uh, um, we use the mouse wheel we can change here uh, uh, the scope here and if you hold shift and mouse wheel then we can shift it right left and so you can make it more yeah what you need so in my case i keep this one that's all fine and i set this end line now it was at start here to the point where i want i say yes let's set it to no i want it actually the five so I set it back to five. So, and now what I have to do is again, I go back to this X in the middle. And now I bring it back where I want. And interesting is this one is anyhow updating it automatically here. It is setting automatically here a keyframe. That's nice. If it's not doing on your end, then just press again the middle circle here. And actually, after that, compile, save, and that was it. That was our animation. So, but to make it cool, let's animate this other two, but a little bit with a time difference. So what I mean with that is, let's select first this one. Let's close this one here first. Now I select this one. After I select this one, I can track it. And now I find bet and quit. Yes, I want quit. I select button quit. And again, I want transform, similar. And now I go again to translation and careful. I have to set this again to the start position, not to the end position. This is my start position. And here I go again to translation like before again to X here. It's outside, but this time I want that this one comes later in, right? The other one comes here. So I start not here, actually, that was wrong. I start this point and this translation, what I have here, I delete this again and I set this one. Ah, let's set it to this point. Um, but before I set it to this, no, let's set it. Yeah, let's set it to this point. And now I go with the translation out. Yes, then I set the keyframe. It is automatically set. Now I go here to the end point again. And you see, I think I overlapped them anyhow, but you see it worked anyhow. Not perfect, not perfect. Perhaps I should go a little bit more out. Yes, let's go a little bit more out. <laughs> And now they come in and you can make it a little bit more better. So I keep this and continue. And this is the base principle. And after this one, we have to do one more step. So the next step, what I need is actually activate this animation. Right now I created a just animation. I have to activate it and it's also not very difficult. What I have to do is to activate this animation, switch to the coding section and here on top we select graph. Okay. And we have already made here something. This is just the normal functionality of the buttons. But now I need the event begin play and our widget blueprint uh, got not uh, node event begin play it is called event construct so all time when you search a begin play like in other blueprints here it is called event construct event construct and then you select this one and here now very important where is my animation actually when you watch now here on the left side you see animation widget blueprint buttons which i created and now I have them and can drag and drop it into my C. And now from this one, I can call play animation, play animation. And you can see we have here more options. We can 
play animation forward. You can even play the animation uh, <laughs> reverse, uh, backwards. And with time range and much more, you can test here around. I make just here player normal animation. And interesting is there are so many options now which you can set here. In my case, I keep it. It works here. You can set again forward, reverse, and so on. And here's some more options, speed, time, and so on. Let's keep this just for this video because I won't just show it, of course. You should read this in the documentation and try and play around with this. But let's compile, save, and let's test it. I started. And you see, I created a simple start, quit, uh, yeah, start, quit animation here at the start. And it was a little bit better than before, I think, because before at the start I started it, and then it was only here, and now you can make here, of course, many, many different kind of animations, uh, effects also, not only the animation, you can call effects. Let me show you this one too. Don't forget here, in animations, in track, we have, and where is that? Uh, here in track, for example, here are events, and event means you can program as uh, code, and code programming means you can activate effect, music, and so on also while these animations are playing. That's uh, That we did in our last video with the trailer, intro trailer. There was the same thing here, events, trigger, and yeah, it's similar. So I think that's enough for this video. Now you can change a little bit animations, uh, uh, so change your widgets a little bit. Must be not a uh, main menu. It can also be just a in-game, for example, a widget pops in as an info screen, pops out, then invisible, make it invisible. There are many nice things here, tracks here, uh, relic, background, color, opacity, and many things here, which is really nice. So with that said, I think I stop this video and like all time, if you have any questions, ask in the comments or complaints, write in the comments and good luck, of course, and bye.